So those guys are all loaded up and ready to go. And I'll meet them back at the DOT yard. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boys Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video. Today for you guys, we're going to actually be heading over to the Department of Transportation uh, shop and we're going to be doing some work over there. If you guys don't already know, we have picked up a contract from the state of San Andreas to run the Department of Transportation. Now, it has been a headache because basically the DOT, they have been a mess and we're trying to clean it up and get everything on track and it's almost winter time so of course we got to get all of the trucks ready for winter and snow plows and uh, snow plowing and all of that good stuff. But anyway, guys, I was taking a look at this shop here. This lot. It's an empty lot. Ton of space. And you guys know we do need some more space. So I saw a for sale sign up. So I figured I'd come in here and check it out. And I'm going to actually put a call in and see. Because I'm thinking about buying this lot. We could do a lot with it, guys. So let me know if you guys think we should buy this lot. We have a ton of space here. It has automatic gates. Um, it's completely fenced in. So that's awesome. We could use it for our transportation company. We may even be able to use it for our construction company. There's so many things we could do here. So let me know if you guys think we should buy this lot here for our, one of our companies. And if so, which company should we put there? But anyway, guys, we're here in our brand new Range Rover. This thing is so new. We don't even have real plates on it yet. I do have a paper plate in the, um, in the uh, back window there. But it's kind of hard to see because the windows are tinted. But anyway, shout out to Branson 12 for this awesome Range Rover. And also, all of the mods that I will be using today will be in the video description if you guys want to check them out. But um, yeah, guys, we're going to head into the DOT shop, which is actually right over here. Um, let me see if I could just get it. Yes, yeah, right here. Kind of just take this light. Oh, this is a one-way? Oh, shoot, I didn't even know that was a one-way. My bad, my bad. Alright, so here's the DOT shop. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have automatic door openers, so we kind of just have to push it open like so. Alright, we didn't scratch anything, so we're good. So, yeah, guys, here's the DOT truck. You guys are going to see some workers um, working on trucks and also just, you know, cleaning up the shop and working and stuff like that. Somebody's under there. So, let me go ahead and park up my Range Rover. I don't want this thing to get damaged any more than it already is from the gate. So let's go ahead and just park this up probably right here for now. It should be fine right here. And let's make sure we save this actually. So it's still here when we come back. So let's go ahead and save that. There we go. All right, guys, so welcome to the Department of Transportation. This is pretty much one of the main lots. We have a couple smaller lots around the city and around the county, but this is one of the main lots here. So you guys are gonna see a lot of our equipment. And like I was saying, we gotta get ready for the snow season guys so we already got the f550s over here these are, have already been fitted with the plows and the salt spreaders which are pretty awesome and we got our main plow truck fleet over there the orange ones those these are our main fleet right here so these most of them are equipped with side plows but some of them are only equipped with front plows obviously they have the salt spreader on the back as well um these are our brine trucks. I don't know how much we're going to use these, but we do have these for, like, treating the roads. Basically, they put down, like, a um, liquid that helps stop the road from freezing up. So we have those if we need them. Um, this is just a flatbed truck right there. Let's see what else we have on this side. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the DOT yard. But the reason why I'm here is because uh, we actually got a call earlier. We got to head up to Blaine County and help some of our guys up. And I'll, I'll explain that here in a little while. Um, we also have this awesome brand new Chevy Silverado. This is actually brand new to our DOT fleet here. And this is actually not released yet. This is by Jacob. Um, so shout out to Jacob on this one for sending it to me before he publicly released it, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if it will be public. It probably won't. But um, definitely stay tuned for more information about that truck. We definitely will be using it. And, of course, we have our DOT trucks from P&W Parts Fan as well. These are going to come with the uh, VMS Plus callout whenever that comes out. But if you guys want early access to those, you can get those by joining the Parks Benefactor program. And I'll link that in the description. But we have our message board trucks. We also have the new trailers as well. Make sure you guys check out the video yesterday with the trailers. Those are pretty cool. 
All right, uh, let's keep going. Uh, this guy looks like he's working on a plow. He's getting the F-350s ready. So these F-350s are a little older, but they still do a lot of work. Really, really good. And the good thing about the F-350 and the F-550s, those are really good for like all of the small blocks that we got to plow and all the small neighborhoods where we can't bring a big size, full size truck. We can use these smaller trucks, which are pretty nice. So our, our fleet is pretty mi mixed, as you can see. We have CAT. We have International, we have Ford, we have Chevy, 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 more Fords right here as well. Uh, we got some more cats, so another flatbed. This one is a cement mixer, and this one is just a regular style here. And it looks like, oh yeah, we got the MTL plows as well. Now these, I couldn't figure out why they were um, spawning red. It seems like in the vehicle made as it thinks it's a fire truck so we got to change it from a fire truck so it stops spawning in red but we'll do that another time uh more f-350s skid steers uh construction equipment back here another guy working but anyway guys like i said um we have to head up to blaine county right now and help out some of our guys they're at they're at a site picking up some salt for winter so that we could put down salt but um, they said that the front loader at the salt place broke down. So we're going to have to bring our own front loader. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in this dump truck here. And we're going to go ahead and drive around to the back. Alright, now if you guys do enjoy this episode, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. And hopefully I don't sound weird right now. I feel like I sound weird. Um, I don't know. I feel a little bit congested. <laughs> it's been so cold lately. So every time I go outside, it's like I get sick <laughs> and congested. So hopefully I don't sound too terrible. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab one of these trailers here. I don't know why part of it is floating. <laughs> That's kind of weird. So let's go ahead and attach to this trailer. Alright, there we go. I don't know what's wrong with it. That is so weird. All right, we'll figure it out later. So next thing we have to do is go ahead and get a skid steer. So since there's no front loaders at the the place that sells the salt, we're gonna have to bring our own front loader. So let's go ahead and or a uh, skid steer. So let's go ahead and grab a skid steer. Now it's gonna be hard for the skid steer to load these dump trucks, but there's a there's like a ramp. So if we use the ramp, we should be able to load them okay. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully I don't hit this guy here. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I have a feeling that the trailer is probably just messed up because we have so many vehicles spawned around here, which is A-OK. -okay. Oh, nobody saw that, right? <laughs> I don't think you guys saw that. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump out. And we're going to go ahead and load this skid steer onto the trailer. Now I'm going to try this again. Um, oh my goodness, it's so screwed up today. I think once we leave this area, it will be okay. So let's grab a skid steer. Alright, and let's try to load it up onto the trailer. So the ramps are a little bit glitched out, but I think we should still be able to load it, hopefully. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. All right, perfect. So we'll go ahead and just load this right here. Oh, this thing is like moving all over the place. Uh oh. All right, so we're gonna attach it about right here. All right, so I just had to manually do this one and that should be about good. Let's go ahead and get the ramps back up. Alright, the ramps are coming up. And like I said, once we get to the location, I think that this would all get fixed, hopefully. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And we're going to go pick up that salt. So all of the trucks here are already filled up with salt in the back. They all got salt and sand. But we got a pretty uh, big snowstorm expected to come. So we want to make sure that we bring some extra salt here. So we're going to get about three to four truckloads of salt so that we could be prepared for this storm here. All right, hopefully I can get out of here it's so tight. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this cut. Oh, 
shit. Oh my goodness, I didn't even hit him. I didn't hit him at all. Oh my god. Okay, there's like a little collision on the right there. <laughs> I was like so far away from him. Yeah, let's make sure we clear that plow. Looks like we did. And we are good guys. Alright, let's catch this light. And we're up. Alright guys, so from here on we're gonna be doing some trucking. Um I don't remember if this one has a light bar. I know the other model has a light bar. Let me check really quickly. Yeah, this one doesn't have a light bar. So let's go ahead and start heading up towards Blaine County. We have to head all the way up to over I always forget where this place is at, but I think it is somewhere around here. I think it's right here, I don't know. So I think I want to drive the highway. The highway is going to be a longer route, but it's going to be much more convenient because we'll have to stop at so many red lights. So we're going to go ahead and make a right up here and take the highway. Now, like I said, guys, if you guys would like to see more real life mod videos, definitely let me know. And by um, hitting the like button and leaving a comment down below in the video description. Alright guys, so we got the uh, trailer fix, so now the ramps are working properly, which is perfect. And uh, let's see, I think we gotta make the the next turn to get on the highway. So let's go ahead and wait for this light. There we go. And again, guys, all of the mods that we are using today are going to be linked down below in the video description in case you guys want to try them out for yourself. And we're going to be making this left turn here. Ah, I just hate waiting for traffic, guys. Oh, yes, thank you. We got a green light right away. We got lucky here today. All right, let's go ahead and get on to the highway here. And let's roll. Turn on our lights as well. It also turns on the trailer lights, which is pretty nice. So we have our tail lights on on the trailer. And we're going to pretty much take this all the way to Sandy Shore. So it's going to be a long drive, but it shouldn't take us too long. Look at that random guy. Just Did you guys see that guy on both sides? Just random people standing on the overpass there. They better not be thinking about jumping or anything like that. But yeah, guys, let me know also how was your week, your weekend, what you guys up to. Um, I haven't been up to too much recently. But, uh, oh, am I going to make this? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I haven't been up to too much lately, but I'm trying to get back into the flow of things, though. So, trying to get back into recording and live streaming and all of that good stuff for you guys. But, um, yeah, I had a pretty busy weekend, but everything cleared up now, which is awesome. I had to um, go to the hospital a lot to visit a family member, but they're doing well. They had a surgery and everything went well, so thankful for that. Now they're just in recovery mode, so very happy about that all right we're now on this freeway we got about two more miles to go once we get there we're gonna try to use a skid steer to load up the dump trucks like I said it's gonna be a little bit hard but I think we should be able to do it okay on traffic I oh, didn't want me to get off the freeway no we're gonna continue so it's probably gonna be a little longer than two miles but we won't have any red lights, so it should be even better. They want me to do a U-turn. <laughs> Yo, GPS trying to get me a ticket right now. I can't do a U-turn in this big truck with a trailer in the middle of a, a highway there. All right, let's let this guy get on. Oh, man. Traffic. Traffic. I guess it's not as bad as it could be. At least it's moving. Alright, <laughs> GPS just still wants me to do a U-turn. Okay, there we go. Now it wants me to go down a dirt road. Oh my god, this GPS is wildin'.
Damn, this truck needs to get out this left lane, man. We're not even supposed to be in the left lane, but I'd be going over there so I could just kind of get ahead of traffic sometimes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Check our mirrors. I'm going to try to bring back American Truck Simulator 2. I've been saying that forever, but I am think I'm going to go record some American Truck Simulator after this. All right, let's get back into the right lane. I gotta add a speedometer in too so we can see how fast we're going. I guess we could use the end game one. Alright, so we're gonna be exiting here in Sandy Shores and making a left. Wait. What happened? It's bugging out again. I don't know what's going on with our trailer. This never happened before. And we have used this trailer a ton of times, too. Alright, so we're going to be making this left here. They should really put a stop sign. I mean, it says it on the road, but there should be a stop sign as well. Alrighty. Let's cut this wide. Don't hit me. Oh, you got to make a uh, turn so fast sometimes. AI always about to hit you. Alright, so we're now in Sandy Shores, and hopefully we have the GPS set on the correct place. It's basically a place that sells cement, but during winter time they also sell salt as well. Alright, one more mile to go, guys. Yo, we are hauling right now. How fast are we going? I just slowed down. We're going up about 70 before I let off the gas. We are definitely going to get a ticket today. I haven't seen any cops or sheriffs. Oh, Chuck's supposed to be at 45. Oh, really, man? You got to pull out all slow? I got places to be. We have so much to do with it, the real life mod series too. We gotta, let's see, what's today? It's the 15th of the month. We gotta start doing our repos as well, guys. So let me know if you guys want to see more repo videos. Um, a lot of people haven't been making payments since last year. I know that's only a month ago, but people haven't been making payments. And we gotta pick up a couple cars. Mm. Come on, my guy. Okay, he sped up a little bit. Thank you. Oh, speed limit is 50 and 45 for trucks. That's cool. All right. Uh, I, okay, I think I got the GPS in the right place. You guys see that thing? Okay, the hill just blocked it, but you guys should see it once we make this. Whoa. Okay, I don't know who was at fault there. I don't know if the F350 had his turn signal on. But that other guy should have been paying more attention if he's going to overtake like that. Alright, here we go. This thing. So this is a cement factory. Basically, they make cement here. This is where all the cement trucks come to uh, get their cement. Now, they also sell salt, like I said, during the winter. So as you can see, it says Stoner Cement Works. So let's go ahead and purchase some salt. Now, we're going to go around to the back here. I think. I don't think they have the salt on the inside. I think all of the salt is in the rear. So let's head around to the back. Alright guys, so let's head around to the back here. I'm kind of confused on what's the road and what's not the road. But I don't think that road leads us to where we want to go. So let's go off road here. And here we go. So here's all of the salt here. Alright. Oh, they're freshly dumping salt, too. Perfect. Okay, here are my guys. Okay, so I see our workers over here that are scared to pick up the salt. And... Okay. Alright, so we got three trucks here. I don't see a ramp. They told me there was going to be a, a ramp here. Let's see what's going on. 
I don't know how we're gonna load these high trucks with a skid sir. Yo, what up, Jerry? What's going on? So you said their front loader broke down? Okay, well, I, I brought a skid steer, but how the heck am I going to load these trucks? I don't see any type of loading ramp. The ditch? What? The, okay, so he's saying that if we put all the trucks in the ditch here, we could load the trucks. I don't know. There's a big gap here, too. And then the, we're not even going to be able to load it evenly, either. Because it's going to load from the rear first. Let's see how, okay, this one looks a little bit better. Okay, so we got three trucks to load plus ours, so we got four trucks to load. All right, all right, well, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna see what I can do here. I don't, I don't know, we're gonna try. We are gonna try, so let's go ahead and drop our ramps here. It seems to be working again. So let's go ahead and drop those, whoa, there we go. And let's go ahead and uh, detach that. And let's go to hop into it now. Alright, perfect. Oops. Okay, let's carefully back up. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. I changed the weight of this, tr of the trailer, because I was making the, um... You guys remember that GMC 3500? I changed the weight of the trailer so that the 3500 could pull it. And I think that's why it's acting up. I'm not sure. I don't think that affects the ramp. But I think that's why the um it can't hold the skid steer properly. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We're going to try to start loading up our sand. I'm going to talk to them. They're going to have to give us a discount for us having to bring our own equipment here and load it up. But... Let's see. So let's go ahead and roll play this out. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop up some sand here. Or some salt. And there we go. Alright, this is going to be the challenge here, guys. See, if they would have told me, I would have just went to my construction shop and I would have got a front loader. But, I mean, they didn't tell me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Be careful here. Okay. Let's go ahead and dump that in. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be hard to fill up all of this here, guys. Alright. Let's go grab some more. Alright. It's cool how you can actually see, like, the... It's really, like, dirt or whatever. But, or, I don't know what it is. I think it's dirt. But, um... Or probably concrete mix, since this is a concrete place. But, we're just gonna say it's sand. But, you can, it's cool how you can see the salt and the sand coming down. Alright. Speaking of working a skid steer, we gotta get back into farming simulator as well, guys. There's so many new farming simulator 19 mods that came out that we gotta check out. Oh! 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 Did you guys see that? <laughs> Oh, let me know in the comment section if you guys said that. We just drove right through the whole truck. Yeah, like I said, that's not the best loading decision. Using a skid steer to load a dump truck. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one over here. I think this one will be easier to load evenly. Yeah, we should put all the trucks right here to load them up. Because at least here I can load the front and the back. As long as we don't fall off here. Alright. Dump that. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah. This episode. Is a little bit of a failure there. <laughs> we keep falling off. Oh man. This is why I'm not a skid steer driver. Or any type of heavy equipment operator. In real life guys. <laughs> yeah, let's grab a little bit more. Now it's going to take us a little while, so I'll probably just fast forward while we load up all of the trucks here. Alright guys, so we got all of the dump trucks loaded. As you can see, they all got all of the salt and sand inside. So, um, I'm going to let them... You guys, you guys could go. You guys don't have to wait on me. 
You guys could go. Alright, so they're going to get ready to head out. And as you can see, all four of them have been loaded with sand now. And they're pretty much ready to go. Let me see why he's not going. Is he frozen? He may be frozen. Hold up. I think he's good now. <laughs> Alright. So they're going to go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully they could get out of here the correct way. <laughs> there they go. Alright. So those guys are all loaded up and ready to go. And I'll meet them back at the DOT yard. They're being like super duper careful right now. Alright, so now in the meantime, let's go ahead and get ourselves back onto this trailer. Alright, so there they go. And we're gonna go ahead and load up right here. Oops. Alright guys, so we have the skid stair back on the trailer. The guys are all heading out over there. So let's let me go ahead and grab our truck now. Alright guys, so let's get ready to head out. I think my truck is probably frozen too. Yep. Alright, let's head out. So we now have a full load of salt here. And hopefully four truckloads will be enough. Like I said, all of the salt trucks and plow trucks are already filled up with salt. Um, we're bringing out the four. I think we're going to probably need more though, guys. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring the guys back up here to get some more. Hopefully these guys get their uh, equipment together so we don't have to bring our own every single time we need to load up. But yeah, I'll probably send my guys for some more later on so let's go ahead and get back to the shop let those ramps come up and let's see uh, let's just back up right here and we'll take <laughs> I did not hit it Let's take the uh, road right back. I guess we'll drive the same way that we uh, came, so we'll take the highway. And right, we're going to make this left turn and jump back on the highway and then we'll get back to uh, the city. Alright guys, so we're back at the shop, um, let's see where the guys dump this, we don't really have a holding area for this stuff here, oh shoot, <laughs> I thought that it was going to push open, we knocked down the whole gate, <laughs> we're going to have to go back and fix that, alright, so it looks like they dumped everything over here already, there goes our guys, they already parked up all the trucks, um, alright, we're going to have to park up this trailer as well. Let me just go ahead and unload the skids there first. So if you guys can see in the back, they already dumped all of the sand over there. So we're going to just dump ours as well. Let's just uh, get the ramps down here. So again, the ramps are just screwed up because there's so many vehicles at our shop right now. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And let's hop in and detach it. I gotta remember to change the weight back so it can handle the skid steer again. <laughs> They're taking pictures of me. 
one thing you guys can't say as a boss i i get involved with the company and i be working just like my workers man all right so we're gonna go put this back over on the other side i'll just leave it right here for now so we'll put that back over there let's go ahead and park up the trailer and then all we gotta do is dump all of this dirt all right Yeah, it looks like we didn't even have any space to put this trailer anywhere. Let's see if I can just squeeze it on the other side of that concrete barricade there. There we go. It's pretty good. Alright, so we'll detach that. And last but not least, all we gotta do is dump all of the dirt here, guys. And we are done. Alright, and right here should be good. It's kind of cool how you can see all of the different piles from um, the trucks, too. Alright, let's go ahead and dump it, guys. There we go. So we're going to let that all dump out. Alright, coming down, coming down. Alrighty. Let's go. Oh, let's go ahead and pull for it. And we should be good. Yep, it's empty. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that back down. There we go. And we now have four piles of our four truckloads of sand here. So, this should be enough to last us for a little while. I think we're going to need some more, guys. We should probably just, like, fill up. Maybe get, like, two more truckloads for here. And then probably get, like, four to six truckloads here, too. Because we're going to need a lot of salt. It's going to probably be a long winter. I mean, we haven't really had much snow here, but, um... We got to be prepared, of course. We have to be prepared. So I think we're going to go ahead and purchase some more salt. And I'll send some more of my guys up to go do that at another time. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you made it to the end, definitely let me know. Just say I made it in the comment section or something like that. So I could thank you for watching all the way to the end. But um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, this is going to be tight right here. We're going to have to move one of these trucks. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one, though, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Oh, the Range Rover is still here, too. Perfect. I was hoping it didn't disappear. I was hoping it wouldn't disappear. All right, guys. So we're done for today. Let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see some more message board truck action and trailer action, definitely let me know. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.